everyone, how are you today? It's Sharon here from the blog I Restore Stuff, ready to share with you a fun Christmas or gift idea. It doesn't have to be for Christmas, it could be for any time of the year. Uh, ready to show you one of our um, essential stencil sets. Well, actually, you could use this with any of the mini tag sets. So that's what we're going to be working on today. But let me know where you're tuning in from. And um, I will do a quick have a look and see who's on today. So how are you? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? I'm here in Australia. As you might be able to tell, I can hear the birds chirping. It rained yesterday, so... And it's spring. Is it spring? Yes, it's spring here in Australia. So what I'm going to do first of all is just get started. Hi, Lucy from Washington. Hi, Connie from Michigan. Hi, Kathy, Massachusetts. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm going to get stuck right into it and show you what I'm doing with these terracotta pots. Now, I've just added a little bit of white chalk paint into a jar. Um, and I'm going to use one of my favorite Klingon brushes just to paint. And I'm going to paint sort of, I don't know if you would call it a whitewashed, a French country fresco look. Let's just call it that. You can tell me what you would call this look as we start and get going. Um, but I'm going to be using some of the essential stencils uh, today, the mini tag sets. So if you um, don't know where they are, I've got links for you. And you can use my code iRestoreStuff to get 10% off all of your essential stencils as a lot of you would know. So what I'm going to do is just grabbing a bit of chalk paint that I've got and I'm literally just wiping it on, brushing it along the side, but I want to do it quite roughly because I want that kind of rough look as if it's kind of, you would call that maybe German smear, schmear? I don't know, have you, have you heard of that look before? So as we go around, I'm just going to leave some bits bare and some bits more covered. And then we kind of have an overall, we kind of look at it a little bit and see what the overall look is going to look like. Just uh, scrolling down here on my laptop. Hi, everybody. Hey, oh, I'm missing the comments here. From Texas, from Delaware, southern Indiana. Wow, you guys are from all over the USA. So lovely to have you here on the live. I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff, and you can find me on Instagram on my Facebook page, I Restore Stuff. Hello to anyone watching on my Facebook page because I'm sharing it with you guys today as well. Um, Pinterest, YouTube. I've got lots of video tutorials on YouTube if you'd like to know more. I love to upcycle furniture. And if you've just joined me, we are creating some fun terracotta pot looks today. I've got a couple of camera shots here, so I'll switch you down in just a minute when we do the stenciling. But all we want is that kind of rough, painted look. Should I do the base? I don't know. No one's going to see that. So I'm really not too worried about the base. But I just go around and have a little look and see where else I might want to add the paint. What I might do, though, let me just flip you down here a second. As you can see, the inside rim there is probably going to be shown when you have a, a plant in there. What I should have done was grabbed a plant to give a demo on. But what I'm going to do is just wipe that around the inside also. Just the inside rim. I don't think it needs to go down more than that. And also just brushing a little bit. It's almost dry brushing, but you want a little bit more on your brush to give to cover up the terracotta a little bit more than you would with a dry brush. But hey, it's experimenting. I've even got a link for these pots that I've used because these pot sizes, I know someone's going to ask that, the size of my pot is, um, in American terms, in inches, five and a half inches, I think. So there's between a five and a half to six inch pot is a good size for the mini tag stencils that we'll be using today. So look how quick and easy that was to just paint up that terracotta pot. So hopefully you can see that there. I'm going to do a few of these because you are going to just see how quick and easy it is. Whoops, you're seeing my um, camera in shot there. Hang on, let me just move this. Beep. All right, grab another one. <clears throat> Guys, I also, oh, thank you so much for sprinkling and sharing this live. If you know anyone who loves DIY, or if you have a group, a furniture painting group, or a, a um, 
DIY stenciling sign making group. Feel free to share this live. Just hit the little share button. That would be wonderful. Or tag a friend who might like to follow. Okay, so see how quick and easy this is. I'm, it's literally just furniture paint, chalk paint. I have put a, in the description of the live some of the supplies that we'll be using today. You'll see my Amazon affiliate link for these terracotta pots. You can grab them on there. Or maybe you'll find some at your local hardware store or garden centre even. They're quite cheap, but they make such a great gift idea. What about a teacher gift for end of year, you know? So I know that end of year is going to come up quicker than we know it. Okay, so I've done the outside. If you missed the first one, I'm just smearing it here and there and everywhere. You can go as little or as much as you want. I'm going to brush around the tops there. But then I want to add a little bit to that rim so that when we put our greenery in it, you don't see that stark difference between the edge. So we could just go around here. Yeah, the brush is really nice to use. Someone mentioned the brush. These are Klingon brushes. They've got um, synthetic bristles. Each little bristle is tapered, so I really love using those. I didn't put a link to that, so I might have to do that later. Okay, so there's another one. Look, we've got two done already. And then I'll start my stenciling in just a minute. We're going to be using the mini tag stencils to this. Now, I do have a note on my little piece of paper down here that you probably can't see. It says Friday, October the 9th. Guys, can anyone tell me why I would have that there? Hmm, let me see. I don't know if you've seen some posts recently or any sneak peeks on Essential Stencils page. Let me see if anyone can guess what's happening October 9th. Can anyone guess? Just dabbing a little bit of chalk paint, smearing it all over here. Okay, if you can't guess already, I'm going to tell you. October the 9th is when Essential Stencil will um, be pre-releasing. They'll be available for pre-release. The Christmas stencils, long-awaited Christmas stencils will be here Friday. Well, not here. They'll be ready for pre-order on Friday. I cannot wait for you to see them all. Um, and maybe you've seen some already somewhere on Essential Stencils page with their sneak peeks or whatever they're doing, but there could be more, just saying. You will be so excited. I can't wait to get mine and uh, have some fun with those. So I'm just doing the inside rim. So we've done three pots already, guys. Look how quick and easy and simple that is for a gift decoration. Who would you use these for? You can give them as gifts for so many different things. All right, I'm just gonna pop my lid back on that because we've got our pots kind of ready to go. <clears throat> now let's have a look at some of these mini tags that we can use. So I'll put the wettest one over there and look how this is just dry, completely dry already. So it's a chalk paint. Um, it's one that uh, I sell in Australia here on my I Restore Stuff uh, website. So if you're in Australia, you can get artisan chalk paint here. And it's just a white color. So I've used that to just give that rustic terracotta feel. But Oh, I've brought a bunch of mini stencils for you to have a little look at. Let me just cut to show you my face here for a second. All right, so we've got our mini farm, uh, farm sweet farm tags. Now, the link that I've put in the description of the live takes you to all of the, um, all of the mini stencils. I did it like, just search mini stencils on mini, mini tag stencils on Essential Stencil page and you'll find all of them. But I've got my link there and you use the code I Restore Stuff to get 10% off all of your um, mini tag sets. So we've got the Tree Farm mini tag set. So that's a cute one for Christmas. Can you imagine your little Christmas tree with a little bit of hessian sitting out of the bottom with some of these? So I'm going to open that one and we'll start with that. Some of the mini tag sets um, work maybe a bit better than others, but really I just, I just love this one, Tree Farm. That's what we'll start with right there. So there's one for that pot. We've got the, still some fall collection, fall mini tags left with Sweet October, 
Uh, happy fall, y'all. Autumn blessings. Some cute ones there. Some more fall. Hello, pumpkin. Pumpkins with the little truck. And but first, pumpkin spice. So there's those. We've got some more farm. If you love the farmhouse style like I do, um, we've got farm fresh, which is you could use as um, a the, there's fresh bacon, fresh eggs, fresh milk. A lot of those. Now here's one that I would really recommend. Now this would be a great gift. I may even do some of these. Is the herb mini set, herb tags. So check that those out. We've got parsley, basil, thyme, mint, a bunch of different herbs, six different herbs. So that's a six pack. So there you go, there's those. I'd like the idea of doing some of those. Uh, some Christmas tags. Now, so some of you may still not have last year's Christmas set. We are getting some more in. Like I said, coming this Friday, there'll be some more Christmas stencils. Uh, this one has the deer head on it, very cute. I used that in a live recently with the buffalo check. We have uh, lemons. The lemons tag sets there's so many so if you see some that you haven't got yet think about them in this kind of a setting with these terracotta pot idea that we're going to be doing today the bees do you know any bee lovers any honey, lovers of honey there's the bee set uh, what else have we got now the other thing that you could use which would be a good size for these are i mentioned before they're about five and a half inches um, or you so you could use between five and six inch terracotta pots some good ideas also for stencil sets would be some of the six inch by six inch sets. So we've got the Be Still pack with some of those signs. They would be good to fit along here. So just think about the placement of your wording. Um, this one is a fall one, fall most of all with the three pack of the, but I think I love fall most of all. Some of those will fit lovely, nicely on there. And there's another, uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy imagine a little lemon tree can you imagine a lemon tree a tiny one planted in the little pot um, starting to grow your lemons easy peasy lemon squeezy and that would be fun and also um, don't just think about plants what else could you put in the pot so I, I'm thinking Christmas tree but also what about you could fill it with seashells or something to do with the sea and there's the beach and ocean set that you could also try using on that so there's some uh, plenty of ideas there um, and also if you're in the stencil of the month club don't forget that you can get 50% off your first month of the stencil of the month club using my code I restore stuff okay so let me point you down and we'll have a look at what we're working on so I'll do the tree farm one first because I can imagine this would look really cute with a Christmas tree poking out of it um, and I'm going to first of all get a little bit of black and pop it in a lid. I only need the tiniest little bit. So this is just, again, it's Artisan Chalk Paint. I'm a, a retailer for Artisan Paint here in Australia. So. Now, as I always say, our first rule about stenciling is less is more. So you want to use a very dry brush. So this brush has a bit of paint that I've dabbed on it. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in front of the camera. What I want to do is rub it all off on the paper and then I'm ready to do my stenciling. So I've got, there's a mark here on the pot. Mine says made in Italy. So I'm just going to pop that to the back, but you could put it wherever you like. And some people might like to use. So what I want to do is just use the words tree farm. I'm going to leave the little trees off. So I shouldn't have uh, done my brush just yet until I've taped off my stencil where I want it to be. So I just put in the things that are kind of going to fit without that lip being on the pot. So just taping off the tree there and the tree at the top with the line. But I might use that tree at the top in a minute. So the other thing you can do is tape it down. But I think if I try and tape this down, see it creates a little bit of a wobble because we've got this lip up here on the pot. So I'm just going to hold it really tightly, <laughs> tightly. <clears throat> Hi Sandy, welcome. Yeah, that's okay that you're late. We're just making some terracotta pot gift ideas. So I'm just going to hold it right there. Let's see if I still have some paint on my brush. 
I do have a little bit. So I'm going to go with the centre because this is a curved surface. So here's a tip for you. I'm going with the centre with the letters that I can see are holding firm against the pot. Then I'm going to move it slightly around this way. And I'm going to have to dip that back in again, brushing off the excess. And I'm just wiggling the brush, tapping it down. Because it's on a curved surface, we're working with that, but holding it really tight up here with my fingers. You could tape that down here also to make it a little bit more secure. And I've just used, if you missed the beginning, I just used some chalk paint in white to just smear over the side of the pot to give it a rustic French country look, I would, I would call it. Now I'm going to move back over to this side and see how it's just kind of rolling the stencil over, making sure that those centre letters are still firmly in place. When you're working on curved pots like this, it is a little bit tricky and you do end up with the letters kind of curving up the side. If, if my letters were too long this way, they'd start to curve up to the sides because you're working with a flat stencil on a curved pot. So just be mindful of that. I just want to use a little, um, a little section so it's just sort of on this one side, this one area. Okay, hopefully seeing that there, I've got just kind of dabbing and smooshing, adding a little bit at a time and I'm just rubbing off the excess paint, wiping it off because you don't want that paint to bleed under your stencil. If you've never stenciled before, that's my number one tip is to remove and, you know, just remove all the paint from your brush. It is a bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Um, curved surfaces can be tricky. All right, it's stuck there a little bit because that tape is going through onto the tree. Look at that tree farm. Is that the right way up for you guys? I think we're upside down, aren't we? I could be doing this the right way. Let me know. Is that upside down now it's the right way up? <laughs> I think I've been showing it upside down. Yeah, I'd love to know. Is that now the right way up? Because here I was, I think I was doing it upside down for you guys. Maybe the way I've got my camera tilted. Now what I'm going to do is remove the tape from the top tree and what I want to do is actually put that little tree with the little lines right on that top section right there. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, it's the right way now. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, hang on, I'm looking at the, the laptop here beside me and I'm thinking, I, actually, I think they're looking at that upside down. I'm used to doing things upside down for everybody on my lives because I just use the front facing camera. So. That's good to know. Okay, so I will just have to tip it up a little bit. I'll pop this under here so you can see this. So I've t now taped off the word tree and I want to put this little tiny tree because it fits perfectly right there. I'm going to center this to where I have it and I might actually use some of this tape to tape it down this time. <laughs> yes, thank you everybody. I am the right way now. Even I was looking at it upside down on my laptop beside me. Okay, so my tree, it's just going to fit on that rim. I'm going to tape it down on both sides and that will help hold it firmly in place. Adding a little bit more paint to my brush and then rubbing it off. It sort of moves the paint in amongst the little bristles. So that makes it uh, more evenly distributed on your stencil when you're stenciling it like this. Okay, so I'm just tapping and smushing it around, giving it a little wriggle. You could also use makeup sponges. These are the essential stencil, uh, stencil brushes. I believe they're out of stock at the moment, but they will be getting some more brushes soon. In fact, we've been trialing some new brushes, new kinds. So that'll be fun if we get to um, order some of those, won't it? All right, ready for the reveal. <clears throat> there is the tree farm pot. How's that? I like it. I think it's cute. Need a little tree to sit in there. All right, let's go on with our next one. I'll just pop that aside. And I was showing you before the mini tag. This came with a spring collection. Uh, the herb tags. So, oops, I'm going to show you that that way. That makes 
more sense. And yes, we'll seal that and I'll show you how to seal it at the end of our live. Don't go anywhere too because, you know, we always love to give away prizes. So there will be a prize for um, three lucky winners at the end of the live. And if you're watching the replay today, comment the word replay and you'll uh, get a chance to win within 24 hours after the live also. So they'll select a winner there. All right, let me just flip so you can see me. And I just wanted to show you some of the the stencils we've got in the herb collection. Okay, so there's mint. Now, I think these would make a great gift idea for end of year, for teachers, for holidays. Um, oh, let me just, I need a, there we go, parsley, uh, rosemary, thyme. So there's six in this collection, if you don't have this one yet. Uh, the links are all up there for all of the mini tags, so you just type in the herbs. Use my code, I restore stuff, get your 10% off. There's oregano. How do you say that? Oregano, oregano. I don't know. I never know how to say these herb words. Some of them are confusing. Oops. All right, so I'm going to go with um, not the one I can't pronounce properly. <laughs> I do like a bit of... I like the look of the parsley. I think I'm going to go with parsley for this one. So... Uh, let's flick down again <clears throat> and just looking at our parsley this time I want to yep we are just going to fit that down on the base of the pot here and I want to use my I'll try my tape this time to tape it down but because of that lip on there I might even you know what I'm going to do, you guys? I'm going to move my words. If you wanted to, you can actually move your words closer to your picture. So if that rim is too far down and we're not going to fit the, pic the image and the words on, you can shift things around. Let me show you how. So I'll just do the words first. So I'm not worried that that leaf now is going over the top of the rim. I'm just going to do the words and then I'll shift it down to do the leaves. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for sprinkling. That's amazing. Okay. Offloading, offloading, offloading. I'm just doing the word parsley down the bottom. And then you can add to your gift either the seeds or you could get some soil and, and the seeds or even grab some parsley plant and put it in the pot. Okay, so I'm removing that now. So see, we've got the word there. And I can move this, these leaves a little bit closer down to the word. So I'll just want to rub that off. Clean my stencil off just with a bit of water. And I'll move the leaves now down a little closer to where those, the word parsley is. Still making sure I've centred it but now it'll fit a little better. I probably should have moved the word parsley down slightly. Let's see how we go. My leaf might be a little bit short on the top there. It is so tricky doing curved surfaces, isn't it? Yeah, I might have to do one side. So I'm taping that, we'll do one side and then I'll do the other. And I could have taped off the word parsley, but it's kind of far enough away that I don't really need to. I'm holding that with my thumb on that side. So now I'll let that pop up. Tape that down on this side. Hmm. I'm going to have to do this again. See, not again, but I'm just going to shift it move the stencil slightly. There we go. Holding it tight with your fingers. Wriggling the paint down in there. Being really careful that you don't have too much on your brush because you don't want it to bleed under. Yes, Deborah says it'll make a great gift for co-workers. Absolutely, such a great gift. And I know with the herb thing too, I mean, a lot of people being, if they're in isolation and stuck at home, um, have been growing little veggie gardens and growing their herbs and doing things because they're at home now and they can water them. Whereas, you know, if you're working all the time, sometimes it's a little bit of a neglected project. 
I do know that that's something that a lot of people have been doing. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky, this top section here. My parsley leaves just might not look like parsley leaves at the top, but we'll see how they turn out. I'm just kind of wriggling and smushing my brush. Oh, it's not too bad, guys. That's not too bad at all. Hey, it worked. Let me see if I can draw a little bit closer to where you are. So it's a little bit blurry right here at the edge, but I'm not worried about that. I think it's, it's turned out lovely. And um, <clears throat> let me just flip you up around. See if you look at it this way. That's about the size. So these are five inch, uh, five and a half inch, I think, but um, the link I put to um, where you can get them on Amazon, uh, I think they're five inch pots, but any of those will work really great with these um, these pots. So I want to do another herb one. Let's see. The rosemary. I do love rosemary. Rosemary is great with what? Lamb? Is it lamb? Rosemary is really nice. On lamb. I think that's right. I'm going to rub and wipe my stencils down just with a wet cloth. And the sooner you can wipe them off, the easier it will be to remove the paint. Now I've just used a water-based paint, um, which is a chalk paint. You can get that at um, all over the place. <laughs> yes, I do have birds, Carol. Well, they're not my birds. They're just out there in the trees, in the yard. It's spring here in Australia, so the birds are really loving <clears throat> that we had a, bit, a tiny bit of rain yesterday. It was not quite enough because our grass is really brown. Um, but yeah, so you can hear the birds outside. You can probably hear some Australian birds. Okay, I'm just popping this under here. Now, I did note this earlier that I do have a little bit of a Made in Italy sign right here. So I just kind of face that towards the back. <clears throat> Let's see if we can fit this one on. I might have to move that. I think I'll be able to do it. Move the rosemary down a little bit further. Once again, so if you missed the beginning of the live, I showed you exactly how I created this look on this pot just simply by brushing randomly over the surface of the terracotta. So I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit sideways for you. There we go, can you see that? Just wriggling the brush down in there. And I think I should be able to, well that's popped up there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna work really hard at holding my fingers down there. The idea is not to just drag your brush back and forth, but put, you're pushing the stencil down where it's popping up here especially, and just wriggling the brush around. You're, wigg you're wiggling the top part of the bristles but you're making sure these bottom parts are fairly still and stable so that they don't rub the paint underneath the stencil. Oops, I'll turn it just slightly on its side so you can see a bit better. Again, offloading, offloading. This has been such a quick and easy gift idea. I tell you, there are so many different ideas for that. Oops. <coughs> oh, someone's talking about cooking with rosemary and I missed, I missed the comment. I was trying to see if it was with lamb. Oh, it's good with pork also, yes. And potatoes, yes. Now, um, my girls have taken to doing some roasted potatoes and things in the in the oven and drizzle them with a bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, sprinkle with rosemary. Now this is really tricky guys. I'm not sure how I'm gonna how this is gonna turn out. I can see. I'm gonna have to shift it slightly. Well we could have a few extra leaves on our rosemary here, let's see. <laughs> It is really tricky, but hey, it's just paint. You can always sand it off and start again. <clears throat> Once again, it's really hard to get under that lip of the pot. So if you had the option, I would go for just a slightly larger pot than a five and a half inch. Maybe go for a six inch if there is one or seven. 
Oh dear. No, it's not looking. Oh, that's fine. No worries, we'd say, as we'd say. Oops, you're upside down. No worries. See, rosemary. And see how we've just kind of dry brushed that terracotta. Now, if you wanted to, you could also just give that a little light sand to make it even more look more rustic. And um, so let me just pop that brush. Now we've finished the stencil painting and I just wanted to show you, well, I should have cleaned off my, <clears throat> my stencils, but what I'll do is I'll put that wet cloth on them. My wet cloth has got a lot of paint on it now. <clears throat> Janet says her mum grows herbs and sells them at farmer's market. How cool, that's awesome. Yes, the uh, rosemary and potatoes beautiful. I love all the herbs that can be grown. Okay, so I'm just going to put that wet cloth there, let that soak. And um, let's talk about sealing. So it is important to seal your chalk painted pieces and probably it's important to seal your terracotta. So I'll go with my first one that I did earlier. So if you missed that, it was the tree farm. So here it is. Now I can feel that, you know, that's you can just feel the stencil there. What you could do is grab a little bit of sandpaper. Let me just grab my sandpaper. Oops. Don't want that to fall off or roll. And just kind of roughen the surface really gently. And you don't have to do that if you want it really stark looking, but I just like to have that little bit more of a rustic feel. And then just wipe that off. And that, now with chalk paints, it can have quite a sort of a chalky finish. Uh, then we seal it. So I'm just going to use some of my flat matte sealer, which again, if you're in Australia, this is an artisan product so that you can get that from from my website, irestorestuff.com. Now, if you go to my website, you'll also see a whole bunch of tutorials and, and on my YouTube channel, you'll see some tutorials on, um, oops, this is very slow to come out today. There we go. On all sorts of things like from painting furniture to sign making to all of the things. All right. So this is just, sealing the pot because we don't want, I don't know, I think it's important to have your pot sealed. I've heard that it is. When does the sneak preview come out for the stencil of the month now with the new dates? Ooh, essential stencil, we'll have to answer that for you. Hopefully they'll do that in the comments. All right, so we're just gonna seal this all over. And uh, this sealer, it sort of, it looks a bit white but dries absolutely clear. So you'll see that and it dries super quickly. So we want to work quite fast with our sealer. Once you've sealed it, all we have to do is add our plant or our tree or whatever. I think I'm around at the beginning, there we go. And don't go anywhere guys because Essential is going to be picking some winners when we finished on the live today. So don't forget the top here and this part where I just briefly did that. I'm going to go grab a little tree to show you. I didn't get out my Christmas. I haven't got out my Christmas decorations quite yet guys but I, I do love an early Christmas decor. But we are selling our house this year so I'm kind of at a, in a bit of a quandary. Is it okay to have your Christmas tree up while you're trying to sell your house? I don't know. Is that a thing? Let me just, it's kind of a bit sticky because I've only just put the, um, <clears throat> put the sealer on. I just wanted to grab a tree, pop it in there so you can see the pot just a second. Ta-da! Look at that, tree farm. Can you imagine a little Christmas tree sitting up the top there? A little bit of passion poking out. Maybe I'll find our tree and I'll pop some photos up later, maybe in the um, Stencil of the Month Club or I'll... I'll pop them here down here on the link to show you that. And don't forget we've got our herbs, the parsley set. Now any of the mini tags will work perfectly for this size pot. So this is about the size of the pot, about the size of my face. Um, <laughs> so they're about the five and a half inch. Uh, I'd go for maybe the six inch and then you'd be able to fit these on a little better. 
But um, I'll seal these two now too. And we are going to be looking for some winners, all right? So drum roll, everybody. And uh, stay tuned because that was a quick live today, guys. I did that in less than half an hour. We have three pots ready to give away as gifts um, to a family or a loved one. So easy for you to do. Uh, and don't forget, on Friday, October the 9th, this Friday, we are going to Essential Stencil. We'll be putting up a little preview, pre-orders, pre-orders, you'll be able to pre-order your Christmas stencils. So that's exciting. I just wanted to congratulate the winners when they, when they show up on here. So let me just pop my glasses on. And um, don't forget to find me on Instagram. I restore stuff in either of the platforms, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and uh, my website, of course, is irestorestuff.com. <clears throat> let, me, let me know if you can see the winners. We are looking for our winners now. They probably thought, wow, Sharon's gone really quickly today. <laughs> I did. I didn't know that was going to go so fast. I painted the pots. If you didn't, if you missed out on how I did that faux finish, the faux, like, whatever you call that, uh, rustic finish, you can um, see that at the beginning of the live. Um, but let me know. Okay, congratulations, winners. So I'm about to see them pop up on the screen, I am sure, any second now. <laughs> but thank you, guys. And any, if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments because I love to go through afterwards and look at, see if you've got any questions about stenciling, about any of the things. So um, let me know. I'm not quite seeing uh, the winners yet, but I'm sure that they're there because you're all saying congratulations. So congratulations, those winners, you just have to uh, send an email to support at essentialstencil.com with your details and they will send you out a prize. Don't forget if you're watching the replay that you can, yeah, I'm still not seeing the winners, but I know that you're there. Congratulations, winners. Um, if you're watching the replay, comment the word replay here in the comments and you may win a prize in the next 24 hours after I press finish on our live this morning so this morning this evening for you it's morning here for me and um there we go there's our winners pat jackie and da, 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 da. i've got to click the little see more button and alicia so pat jackie and alicia congratulations to you thank you all so much for watching today i uh, would love to see you over on my page and i will see you next time next week for another essential stencil live here's what we made today if you missed it if you've just joined us hit replay bye <laughs>